Thank you for your interest in our project information meeting for the SR A1A South Orlando Avenue and North Atlantic Avenue Maintenance and Safety Improvement Project. Ms. Sarah Van Gundy is the Florida Department of Transportation's project manager and Mr. John Mark Windsor is the consultant project manager. The purpose of this public meeting is to share information about the proposed project with the public and to provide answers to any questions that may arise. This meeting, project, or study is being conducted without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5, Title VI Coordinator, at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, DeLand, Florida, 32720 or telephone 386-943-5367 or email jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450. Or telephone 850 414 4753 or email jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. For project information, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is FDOT's platform to keep you and the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this website, which contains links for easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule details, project contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. To access the project website, go to www.cflroads.com. On the main page, from the pull-down menu labeled Road, select SRA1A, then click Search. When the new page opens, click the link labeled Future Projects, and then select the project number for this project, which is 43066-7-1 and 43066-7-2. The project is located in Brevard County in the city of Cocoa Beach. The project begins south of the intersection of SRA1A and 36th Street South and continues north to the end of the project north of Sunflower Street. This project covers both the southbound and northbound one-way pairs for SRA1A. The primary objective of this project is to provide maintenance to the existing pavement on SRA1A. Additional improvements will be made to the corridor as part of this maintenance project, including traffic enhancements for motorists and pedestrians. These improvements are designed to increase safety for all users of SRA1A. This project has been designed to minimize impacts to utilities and limit disruption to traffic during construction to the greatest extent possible. Due to deficiencies in the existing roadway pavement, the surface of the asphalt needs to be replaced. This will be done by milling the top layer of asphalt and placing new asphalt on top. In addition to repairing the pavement, this project will provide safety and operational improvements throughout the corridor. Some of the safety improvements which will be included within this project include evaluation of the existing sidewalk system and making any repairs necessary to meet the requirements of the Americans with Disabilities Act. And new sidewalk will be constructed throughout the project where no sidewalk currently exists to provide complete sidewalk connectivity within the limits of this project in both the northbound and southbound direction. This graphic depicts the current condition of SRA1A in the southbound direction. The current condition is showing two lanes of traffic in the southbound direction with an existing paved shoulder on each side of the roadway. The graphic shown here shows the proposed condition with the newly resurfaced roadway and proposed new sidewalk 
which will be added throughout the project to provide complete sidewalk connectivity within the limits of the project. This graphic depicts a similar condition of SRA1A in the northbound direction with an existing brick paver driveway. The current condition is showing two lanes of traffic in the northbound direction with an existing paved shoulder on each side of the roadway. This graphic shows the proposed condition with the newly resurfaced roadway and proposed new sidewalk leading up to and through the existing brick paver driveway. This map depicts the limits of typical Section 1 with a green line. The limits extend from the beginning of the project north to the one-way pair separation. Typical Section 1 consists of two 10-foot lanes of traffic and a 5-foot outside shoulder in both the northbound and southbound directions with a 10-foot inside two-way left turn lane. Within the limits of this typical section, a 5-foot sidewalk will be added to fill in all sidewalk gaps and provide complete sidewalk connectivity within the typical section limits. This map depicts the limits of typical section 2 with a red line. The limits include the downtown area in the northbound direction. Typical Section 2 consists of two 11-foot lanes of traffic, a proposed bike lane, and two 10-foot outside parking lanes in the northbound direction. Within the limits of this typical section, a 10-foot existing brick paver sidewalk will be maintained within the typical section limits. This map depicts the limits of Typical Section 3 with a blue line. The limits extend from the one-way pair separation to the historic downtown Cocoa Beach area in the southbound direction. Typical Section 3 consists of two 12-foot lanes of traffic and a 5-foot outside shoulder in the southbound direction. Within the limits of this typical section, a 5-foot sidewalk will be added to fill in all sidewalk gaps and provide complete sidewalk connectivity within the typical section limits. This project is designed to be beneficial to all roadway users. The existing sidewalk ramps and pedestrian signals will be evaluated and replaced where necessary to meet current Americans with Disabilities Act criteria. New sidewalk will be constructed throughout the project to provide complete sidewalk connectivity within the limits of the project in both the northbound and southbound direction. The newly repaired roadway will correct pavement deficiencies and provide an improved riding surface for vehicular traffic. During construction of this project, measures will be taken to ensure the safety of construction workers and the traveling public and to ensure access will be maintained to all homes and businesses within the project limits. To provide this measure of safety, lane closures will be necessary while pavement work and sidewalk construction are being performed. Localized pedestrian detours will be provided during sidewalk construction activities. The project is also being coordinated with the Space Coast Area Transit Authority to ensure that bus service is not disrupted. The design of this project began in the spring of 2014 and is currently in the development phase of design. Design will be completed in the summer of 2016, with construction beginning in the fall of 2016. Construction is anticipated to be complete in the fall of 2017. The design cost for this project is about $1.9 million and the construction cost is estimated to be approximately $5 million. Comments on this project are welcome. Please send us your comments and questions by clicking on the Submit Comments and Questions link on this website or by mailing the evaluation and comment form available to you at the meeting by October 26, 2015. Your comments, questions, and concerns will be addressed and then will become a part of the project file. This concludes the presentation for the SRA1A Astronaut Boulevard Maintenance and Safety Improvement Project. Thank you for your interest in our project, and we thank you for taking the time to view our public information meeting presentation. Please feel free to contact us at any time regarding any questions or concerns you may have.